Creating a chained installer on Mac OS X for Adobe Acrobat Pro DC. Our first step is to download the DMGs for our installers. And here we have the base DMG and we have the base for the latest update, which is January 2016. So let's mount those two DMGs. Okay. And as you'll notice, we have PKG installers. So, our first step is to copy the installers to their folders. And since this is not yet serialized, we're going to copy this to the unserialized folder. And there we go. And then we're going to copy this one to the updates folder. And done there. So now we've got our installers in their folders there. And we need to eject the volumes. Okay. Our next step is to go back to the PKGs folder where we have our uh, serialized, unserialized, and updates folder, and we're going to compress all three installers. Okay, all three installers have been compressed. And now I'm bringing up this other folder. We have a uh, spot called zip installers. And we're going to grab the compressed installers and put it in that folder. Now we have a choice to make here. We have a choice of serialized or unserialized installation. In case of this demo we're going to do a serialized install. We're going to pull it here. So now we've got both the serialized installer zipped package and the update zipped package in our zip installers folder. Our next step is to go to the post install shell script. Now I'm going to go big here. And the post install shell script is slightly different than the previous one that we used for Acrobats 10 and Acrobat 11. It has an extra line here. And here's the extra line rm f, and then a path to the zipped package. And that's the case for both installers rm f, and then the spot to the zipped package and that's for the unzipping of the installers. Now the install portion of the script is exactly the same. The only difference is of course the name of the installer and the install the update is again the same as previously used for 10 and 11 except it's got of course, the name of the new installer. Okay, so <clears throat> there we have our post install shell script. And now we'll exit the full screen. Come back here, and we need to take a very important step here. We need to make that shell script executable. If you don't make this shell script executable, then the file itself will error on you because you won't have the permissions to get to the path. So we need to bring up the terminal at this point. And in order to make the post install shell script executable, you need to have administrative privilege. So Make sure that the 
user ID that you are using to change the post install shell script is one that has administrative privilege and can change make the change for you. Okay, so I'm going to do a little trick here. We're putting the change directory command. It's, uh, the path. There we go. See, there is the path to our post install shell script. And what we do now is remove the post install shell scripts name and then hit enter. And now we are in the shell scripts folder. Okay. Now the command we're going to be using is called chmod. Then we're going to have a plus symbol, x, and then the name of the script. And that's the way it looks. Hit enter. And that should make our post install shell script executable. So our next step is to run the command line for pkg build. And I've got the script over here and the syntax. Let's show you the syntax first. pkg build is the utility we're using. And here are the parameters. Two dashes, root, and then the path folder containing the full patch installer zip files. And there's your zip installers folder. Scripts and a path to the folder containing the post install shell script. And there's our shell script folder. Next parameter is identifier and then dot com adobe dot acrobat dot chain installer. And this is the plist file that gets created with this chain installer and then the install location, forward slash private, forward slash temp, and then the path to our new installer. Okay, and here's the actual line we're going to be using. It's got all the paths and items that we need for the terminal. So let's go to the zip installers folder. I'm going to use that same trick I showed you before. We've got CD and the path to the zip installers folder. So we need to go back a little bit here. And now we're in the zip installers folder. And now we need to run the package pkg build line that we created. And you'll notice that it's already starting to build the package. It's right there. And now the installer is completed. So we can exit out of this. And our next step is to run the installer. The installation was successful. Let's close. Close. And our test is to launch the application.
And there we go. We have Adobe Acrobat Pro. And there we have the release version with the update. Thanks.